Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, a gang problem plagues the city and puts everyone on edge in the episode The Good Caller. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from October 20th to the 26th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on October 25th, in one of the weirdest games in World Series history, the New York Mets would make an improbable comeback in extra innings to tie the series 3-3 with the Boston Red Sox. The game started with Michael Sergio parachuting into Shea Stadium in New York wearing a sign inscribed, Let's Go Mets. He would immediately be arrested. In the 10th inning, Mookie Wilson hit a slow rolling grounder towards Bill Buckner at first base. Buckner would misplay the ball, allowing it to go between his legs and into right field. A runner would score from second and clinch the game for the Mets. This play is often referenced as a confirmation of the curse of the Bambino on the Red Sox, who would lose the World Series to the Mets in Game 7. In music, replacing Janet Jackson at the top of the Hot 100 is True Colors by Cyndi Lauper. From the album True Colors, the song was the first single released from the album and would be the last number one hit for the singer. It would spend two weeks at the top and was received well internationally. True Colors would be nominated for a Grammy for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. In movies, Crocodile Dundee is still, still at the top of the box office and will continue to hold it for five more weeks. Just means we get to dig a little deeper into 80s film history. Normally, I gush over the movies every week, but this week I'd like to highlight a stinker. Hitting theaters on October 24th and starring C. Thomas Howell, Ray Don Chong, James Earl Jones, Leslie Nielsen, and Julia Louise Dreyfus is the movie Soul Man. The film centers around a white man who goes blackface and pretends to be black to get a black only scholarship at Harvard. Panned by critics for both being racist and an all around bad movie, it's still a mystery that Soul Man was ever made. I've never seen this movie, but I'm still aghast at the premise and shocked anyone thought this movie was a good idea. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.